my name is uh, Mark Lewis, and I'm the president of the Sarah Stangle Chris Buck Fan Club London branch. Since my banishment to the UK about three years ago, actual physical contact between myself, Sarah, and Chris has regrettably been very limited. I only survive day to day through a regimen of complete and utter denial and gazing longingly at this picture taken during our last close encounter. My first encounter with Sarah was back when I was head geek at FCB Healthcare in San Francisco. She was a hired gun in the studio department. She was both admired and feared by her colleagues because of her proficiency with a mouse and a cork express. Those were happy times, late night sessions with her and Mary and Paul, tweaking PowerPoint slides for pitches we always seemed to lose. And then the next morning we'd be off to Ilford Isle for no foam lattes. And at lunch, it would be the Levi Cafeteria. Unfortunately, all good things eventually must come to an end. Hold, please. I first met Chris on a late night run to Costco that was organized by our very industrious friend, Paul. It was reasoned that vast quantities of cornflakes, peanut butter, paper towels, and toilet paper divided amongst the four of us would amount to huge savings over Safeway. Chris had liberated a Jeep from his employer, and as we were divvying up the spoils in the parking lot, it all seemed a bit like a drug deal. I have been informed by reliable sources that they still have some of that toilet paper. All right, let's see. Where did Sarah and Chris meet and where? Uh, I don't know. I always figured they were like conjoined twins or something. Um, where did Sarah and Chris become more than friends? God, I don't know that either. Um, name some of Sarah and Chris's interests over the years and or currently. Well, that I can do, but as for the rest, pretty much rubbish. Chris likes to sleep in trees. Sarah supplements her meager income at McCann's by making cards. Although, oh man, ah, sadly, they're not yet available in England. And they both spend as much time as humanly possible dining with our good friends at Roosevelt's. Like most good San Franciscans, Sarah and Chris spend a lot of their time in and around water. For the past few years, that's meant taking their little canoe out just past the right field bleachers at Giant Stadium, hoping to grab a few of these home run balls with this giant net that they have. But the maiden voyage of their little canoe almost ended in tears. You see, they set sail that day, and n neither of them had bothered to check the tide charts. So what happened is, they get stranded on a sandbar. Now, after heated accusations about each other's seamanship, Chris gets out and decides to push the canoe off the sandbar. Unfortunately, as soon as he steps out, he sinks down into knee-deep mud. So, imagine the scene. There we have our friend Sarah um, stuck in this boat, which is firmly planted to the San Francisco Bay, along with her boyfriend, who is also anchored to the bay. So you can just imagine the headlines the next day. Um, man found planted in sandbar, woman and canoe sought for questioning. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously everything worked out okay because Chris is still with us and Sarah's not living as a fugitive in Mexico. Chris managed to get back in the boat. The tide came in and got the boat off the sandbar. And because this water is now freezing cold, I'm gonna get out of the tub. Well, hi guys. Um, we're in the middle of Oxford Street and we're on our, our way to work where I'm going to pop this in the post. 
and uh, it's going to be too late and too brief, just like all my emails. But uh, listen, now that you've tied the knot and bought a house and got a dog, and uh, I'm sure the next step on this low, long, slow slide to republicanism is to trade in the Carmen Gias for Volvos and start raising a mess of kids. But before that happens, I just wanted to say, this whole marriage thing, that's great. And, and the fact that you're marrying each other makes it even better. So listen, in closing, before we get hit by these buses, in closing, I'd just like to say, phrase that I'm sure you've been hearing a lot of these days, which is, what do you mean? I thought they already were married. <laughs>